Assalamu alaikum. Good evening. Uh, today we have Jillian Rhodes with us and we'll be talking about cultural discourse. So Jillian, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes, and uh, we were all evening we've been talking about you know, the cultural differences, cultural exchanges and you know, what is specific to one and we have traveled a lot. You studied in France, oh, Paris, yes, yes. one year there. Yes. So I'm just giving a summary of what we have been talking about. Yes. Uh, and you'll spend some time in Cambodia. Yep. You're an American. Yes. You had your schooling in New York. Yes. You went to Columbia. Yes. And you studied dance. There. Yes. Yes. And four and a half years living in Lahore. What do you know about Lahore? <laughs> what do I know about Lahore? <laughs> yes. And she wrote a novel too. Oh yes, and she wrote a novel too. Yes. And uh, so we'll start talking about your novel. Okay. Uh, it's called... By the Angel's Wings. By the Angel's Wings. Yes. yes. So I'm so, much curious about to uh, Oh no, let's yes. start talking about the novel first and then we come to Lahore and then we okay. come to other things. <laughs> so tell us about your novel. So the... So, so, uh, so basically, the novel is it's a post-apocalyptic dystopian fantasy. Okay. Um, so the apocalypse has happened. The world has ended. The world is. The world is ended. For me, it has already ended. So <laughs> <laughs> let's But like properly ending, ending, ended, ended. Uh, you know, yes. like there's. But physically. Uh, yes. And yeah. Yes. You know, the, everything's been burned. The sky is covered in radiation. There's, there's nothing left. You know, and the, the right. people that are left, they, they think that that's the way the world is because the, the ruling. They had not. They, they have, have never not experienced. Known the they've world never. That. They've yeah. never experienced a blue sky. They've never mm -hmm. experienced green grass. They don't know what these things are. Right. Uh, because the the league, the group of evil wizards that runs this world, mm -hmm. they're they've reinvented history. They said this is the way it's been. This is the way it's always. This is where it's supposed to be, and mm -hmm. we're the ones who made it this way. We're the ones who saved the world. Interesting, you know. And so, obviously, you know, for the most part, people are cool with that. But uh, you know, the league is is not ruling peacefully. You know, mm -hmm. if anybody stands up and says, I'm not sure about this, and they talk. And they've also separated the wizards and the commoners, so the people with magic, the people without magic. Uh, mm -hmm. Was it with the commoner? I mean, uh, can you please elaborate a little more about that? The commoners are basically people who don't have magic. They're, they're non-wizards. All right, so the wizard ones are... So wizard, uh, have wizards, magic are, wizards are, are the wizard. Yes, yeah, right. yeah. So they're, it's, they're element wizards, basically. They have, you know... So are there supernatural elements? No, no, no. No, no. fire, air, water, earth, All right. um, light All and the, dark. The, the four humors. Yeah, so to speak. Except, except that the League only allows light wizards because they said all the other elements are corrupt. It's, you know. Okay, okay. So the, 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 the wizard says that all the other elements are corrupt? That's what the or? League says. That's what the League says. Yeah, that's what the League Okay. And you published this novel yourself? I've self-published it. It's so available on Amazon. It's uh, on Amazon. So the right. It is available on Amazon and? Uh, so Amazon, they have print-on-demand and they have e-book. So okay. there's two formats, basically. And how but long is the book? It's, it's basically three novellas because it's three generations. Okay. It's, it's, yeah, but they're tied together. Yeah. It's, I guess it's 150 pages, maybe. If you give a little yeah. enlightenment, yeah, that can all, be I mean, quickly. quickly, the highlights of the, I mean, from from introduction to conclusion. So. A summary of all. So our, I'll tell you basically. Basically, what it's about is the power of storytelling. How? Story basically. Oh. Okay. Because mm -hmm. the entire the entire plot. Can you call it persuasion? Or it is no, just it's, a... it's about storytelling. It's really about story. You know, like the league is, you know, the the league has their own story, which is the false story, and then the way that okay. you know the people are resisting is by telling a different story. You know, uh -huh, that uh -huh, that uh -huh. goes against the league, and, and the the story, kind of the power of of people telling stories and believing in them, 
particularly. Mm -hmm. You know, not just telling stories, but believing in it is central to the plot. Mm. Um, so, so if, if I precisely, uh, I mean, include this, I mean, uh, there is a different type of truths. I mean, everybody has a different truth. Or, I mean, uh, mm. there are so a lot many people, or there are not many communities, they have the different truths and beliefs. Well, and so not... there is a subscriber of different truths. Well, I suppose. So basically, let's, if you tie it to history, right, yeah. there's, a, there's a saying that history is told by the winners, mm -hmm. right? Mm. So those who have won mm -hmm. have the right to tell history. history. Those but it's not necessarily mm. the actual that, 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 that was a very important point. I mean, those who have won. Those who have won like, the, have the, the right the to tell the history. Yes. The they conquerors. have the right to tell the history. Yeah, so that's yeah, what this is. This was a, yes. So this means it can be the distorted history, it can be the real history, or it is whatever the history they so And it's so hard, like, when you think about, you know, we think we have, we know exactly what happened in the past. We know that Rome fell, and we know that all these things. But, you know, we weren't there, so you're relying on somebody's, somebody's history that they've written, you know? And so, you, I think, you know, the... It's not to say that there's everybody's hit, truth is, is true. So, for example, the League's history is not true. What they say is that mm -hmm. the sky has always been red. Become the populist or they become popular. Right. So, he attained that wizard mm -hmm. standard. Right. right, exactly. So, and other people are like what? I mean, mm -hmm. they are like any other would follow. Right. I mean, as we have seen in our political uh, uh, scenario these days, 99 or the 98 percent people are not using their anything. I mean, of I, I would the rather brains. not using their brains, but they are following this, those lens. I mean, they just see that whatever he says, mm. what, what what because he won. Right. So he has all the right. Yeah, to much. take the decision, mm -hmm. whether it is right or wrong, right. whether, uh, for example, if I uh, go into uh, the uh, history, well, you heard about the Hebrews, and then you uh, heard about the Homer mm -hmm. then you heard about the Egyptians, mm -hmm. they were in the power, the whole rule, and, and then well, the mythology, the and then the mythology, myths, myths becomes a god sometime, that there are the mm -hmm. different gods, yeah. Um, the myths and the fears, and then there are seventy-two thousand plus fears become the god in in, in, in the seventy-two thousand. Seventy-two thousand. I mean, uh, yeah, some I some of them like, for example, if somebody is fearing of uh, or the phobias or anything like snake, uh, the cow or anything, they make them a god. So, uh, anything that can. Let's put it on to the different, not, not into the Plato times, not into the Roman side or the different side. Same as coming to your novel, which is one is a visit, making the standard, and other is, what do you call it? The, one is the wizard. Yeah, the league. The, the league. league. Yeah. So the league, league is the right word in our current economic scenario, in, this, in yeah. our current economic political scenario. These the, they have the syndicate. The league. The league. The syndicate. The league. Yes. The, yeah. the, the the ruling class. Right. The ruling. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The league is the ruling class, or is the league, uh, league is just oh, the, just follows oh, misleading right? others? Is that true? The league. League is the yeah. follow, right? The, yes. no, the league is the, the, the government, so to speak. League the is the dust. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 The, 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 the evil one. Yes. So not every wizard is evil, but the league is, you know, mm. the ones that yeah. are like... Okay, well, where, uh, when we uh, were having tea before, yeah. uh, this talk started... So, so, sorry, I'll, yeah. I just... So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm distracting to get you, get you, the get you into that discussion. Uh, it's it's a very... very yes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, we, were, we were talking about it. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, that uh, how to start a conversation in different cultures so that makes it easy to you know, get along with people. Yeah. So, you were talking about the Korean 
thing. What was that? Uh, how do you say? I mean, no, so there, are in, yeah, there are different levels. There are different levels of, of, of yeah, formality. French people. Yeah, French people. You have to say bonjour first. Bonjour first. Otherwise, you are dead. Otherwise, you're dead. Yes. Yeah. What, what about Pakistani people? And then is that as in that help you survive? As in a thing, salam. 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 Not salam. Yes. It's salam. not salam alaikum. Now, what, what makes it easy uh, to get along with Pakistani people? You have to get through all of the Aslam Alaikum, Kesi Haya, Sakti. Are you married? How many times? What was this? This is a very particular question. I mean, that's what I mean. That comes after. That comes, comes after. Yes, yes. Generally, how speaking, many children? One yes. or one even, or the second one? Uh, but no, yes. like generally, if you like call somebody on the phone, you have to get through all of this. You know, the TK, Fitbath, up some. Before coming down to the point. Then you come down to the actual point that you're calling. Yes, yes. After having. Going through all this ordeal of is specifically yes. talking about the Pakistan. Is it, would they start with the miseries or would they start with the good things or they're like uh, uh, I mean this happened to me, this happened to me, and I this, I mean this uh, reminds me of something. Uh, I mean <laughs> this <laughs> reminds me of something. The importance of being earnest. You remember that, you know. Uh, this uh, woman is interviewing this man, <laughs> and after <laughs> after <laughs> going through, <laughs> <laughs> how much property you have, and then there is this line. Oh, coming down to the questions, the uh, question of lesser importance: Are your parents alive? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. So you know this so, uh, the difficult question. So so what what, what are the questions that are asked? Uh, most frequently. So, I mean, obviously, I'm not Pakistani, so that's yeah. that's where all the questions are. Starting from, are you an American agent? No, they, yes. they don't. They don't <laughs> nobody asks that. But they, they How many people have asked so far? Nobody asks that, but they say, is, why are you here? Why? I mean, that's what they imply, in, in yeah. other words. Why, 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 why are you here? It's very really much important for them. If they, they, they are not the consenting. Uh, I mean, everybody, the thing is, everybody asks me that. It doesn't matter if they're Pakistani or American or who knows what, you know. I say I'm living in Pakistan. They say, why? What the hell? What are you doing there? Hmm? I mean, You're talking about narratives. Colonial narratives are still very yes. strong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> narratives. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Narratives. So what is the colonial narrative here? The colonial narrative is very strong here. You know, the West, anything Western, European, white, American must be, therefore, must more. Something sorted. hidden. No, Something. it must be. Sorted, it must be better, it must be more put together, you know. Generally speaking, you know, I think there's this impression that you know, America is you know, Americans are well educated and sorted and proper and polite, everything that Pakistanis are not, you know. <laughs> well, yeah, no. Right? But that's what I'm saying, yeah. that's the that's the colonial narrative, which is that yeah. Pakistan, everything that is created here, local quality is not good. Anything yeah. that is you know, uh, that, that important is, cause, important is better, you know, and so yes. that, and I think this is, you know, entirely colonial narratives, which mm. is saying that the West is better, yes. Yes. And, and, and I think that, you know, when you think about colonial narratives, you think that it's only the colonial country that's thinking they're superior, mm -hmm. but it's actually the former colonies thinking they're inferior is also a colonial narrative. Mm -hmm. um, mm. And so here I think, you know, it's very strong actually, this idea that, you know, white is, is white skin is better and, you know, if it comes from the West, you know, you say imported, what do they mean? They mean imported from the West. Imported right? from the they West. Don't, you yes. know, right? Yes. That's yes. The, like, yes. Even if it's imported from Japan, which more likely it is, right? Yeah. But the idea is that... When we just tag imported. Right, yeah. you know, and in people's minds, it's coming from the West, right? So this is so it has to be superior if it's coming from. Therefore, the West. Yes, therefore, yes, you yes. know, and so and I think that's one of the overarching sort of cultural narratives here is remains very colonial in that regard. Right, mm -hmm. and it's you know, and I think that well, especially you know, the elite Pakistani class is much more likely to look down upon their own country. Um, you know, really their own cultural practices. Anytime, generally speaking, most of the sort of elite Pakistanis that I meet or talk to will start with what's wrong with Pakistan. What's wrong with Pakistan? Okay, right. tell me what's wrong with Pakistan. <laughs> yeah. Look, you know? look, uh, okay. but, 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 your but, question you know, in the context, your question in the context. 
No, I'm just saying that that's say, the conversation we get. Yeah, the, well, I understand. Uh, if you have to make a comment on why Pakistan has remained underdeveloped or whatever the Pakistani problems are, mm -hmm. I remember Henry Kissinger talking about it. I yeah. exactly remember what he said that uh, well, Pakistan is a great country, but it will be fine if we, uh, Pakistan stops thinking about itself in relation to India. The minute you do that, your problems will be solved. That's his statement. What do you think? What do you think? Yes. So, I mean, you have direct comparison. You have direct comparison with the Henry Kissinger. Sorry, so you said no. So, what I. What I what I'm trying to say. First of all, I think that it's important to note that we talk about developed and developing countries. Okay. And generally speaking, developing countries are seen to be the architects of their own failure. Right? Developing countries. Uh, developing countries. Right? Okay. Generally we are speaking, responsible for whatever is happening to right. us. Generally yeah. speaking, you know, that they're not organized, they're lazy, they're this, whatever and that. Mm -hmm. um, which I think often ignores the fact that, you know, the developed countries have done so using the resources of the developing countries. Yes. Generally speaking. And so I think that this duality and this idea that developing countries are responsible for their own failure completely ignores the fact that the developed countries have built themselves on the resources from somewhere else, generally. So, the, when, when the development... Is that entirely true? I don't know, but I think that... Well, that's, 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 I think no, that that's it's a general perception. Why the developing countries <coughs> always... I mean, we have seen you know, from the grassroots to the different uh, cultures from the ruling elite, then the social factor analysis and all. So, why this inferiority complex, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, jeopardizing us, I mean, why, they, why they, this inferiority complex is grilling us and why it is fixed in us, especially in, in specific to Pakistan, uh, whether they have achieved everything. As you said, you have seen so many uh, entrepreneurial mind and we were discussing about that, how they are, how you find yes, Pakistani, how, how, you, how you find Pakistani people are innovative, how you people uh, how you find that Pakistani people are very uh, entrepreneurial? They have a very good, uh, very good entrepreneurial approach. Mm -hmm. uh, but still, they are in the inferiority complex. If we go into history, we know that in the subcontinent, we have a lot of many resources. We have the agrarian-based economy. Mm -hmm. We have the different resources. We have a uh, region. Uh, 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 we have uh, uh, Harappa. We have Mohenjo-daro. We have uh, civilizations. Mm -hmm. So. What's wrong? What's wrong? With we, we, we are arguing that, and what's your, in your opinion, what is, uh, are they in the identity crisis still so yes, far? I think, again, again, when you talk about that, I think, you know, there, there is, I think the world is going through an identity crisis at the moment, generally speaking. Okay. Um, but I think that some of the, I do think that the inferiority complex a lot is, remnants of colonial um, propaganda a lot, oftentimes. Who makes the propaganda? The colonial countries. For example, for example. For example. When you say colonial countries, you're, you're referring to Britain and France. Uh, America, traditional colonial powers. Um, so America, Britain, France, yeah. Dutch, yeah. Portugal, blah, 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 blah. blah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, maybe three. Maybe. Like Americans, Americans, Britons, Britain, Portuguese, and French. Uh, French, French, French. They, well, they had some colonies. Uh, French had a lot of colonies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mostly uh, North Africa. Yeah. Still, do, do they have the influence? Uh, are they influential? Still, so far? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
more or less, because it took away a, a whole generation, you more or less. Need, well, you would get a big to wash or I didn't say, that. I didn't say anything about me. Yes. I'm just saying no, you're not that. saying that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we are not diving into the conclusion. We just wanted to. Uh, I just wanted to understand. Yeah. Is it any solution happens soon that we will come out of this uh, colonial narrative? But or I the think, colonial I idea, it, it or this inferiority complex. But I, do, I think it has to be, you know, it has to be some... Because it is man-made, you said. Yeah, but it... History-made, I mean, man-made. It's history-made. Yeah. It's history-made. It's history-made. So, what will the man do? Like, like if, you, you, if, you, if you were to advise, <laughs> if you were to advise uh, how to come out of this colonial trauma, mm -hmm. yeah, what should be the starting point? What should I do? Make art. Make art? Make art. Elaborate. Yeah. <laughs> make art. Make art. Yes, make art. Right. That's a very interesting thing. Make art. Make art. Make art. Make art. Make art you and how will that help us? Because then you see the creativity and innovation of your own people. And it will help us believe in ourselves. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. When you talk about no, art, but I think mean, because artists are the drivers, oftentimes, of, of uh, cultural narratives, you know? So, think about it this way. Author, authoritarian. 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 That word, that English word. Yes. Um, what do they do first? What do they do first? They suppress the artists. They suppress or they the get artists. the artists on their side to make propaganda, right? So the, um, the Stalin did it. Yes, well, the Nazis did it. Yes. The Pol Pot regime in Cambodia mm -hmm. did it. Mm -hmm. They killed ninety percent of the artists. Those mm -hmm. who remained, they, they used to make propaganda, music, songs. Mm -hmm. You know, so you can show the artists. I don't know, but I don't yeah. know what but most happened. likely that's the thing. And that was the same music at that time in the Nazi uh, the Nazi style. The Nazis anthems, right? They were yes. very important, right? The music is very important, right? And do you now, know that like for example, now in the U.S., you know, the national anthem has become propaganda, right? How so? Because it's the the national anthem now is is in front of of, of every single event, but it's very much. The national anthem is now connected to the flag. The flag is a symbol. Yes, they're yes. talking about Trump people. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because the flag has now actually become a symbol of the alt right. Because mm -hmm. the flag now stands for mm -hmm. you know the army and it stands for the alternative right movement, right? right. And right. the national anthem. So, for example, there was this football player who got in incredible amount of trouble. So his career was ruined. He's mm -hmm. a black football player, okay. and so he started kneeling during the national anthem. Why? Because he said that in this country, the treatment of black people is not correct, it's not just, mm -hmm. and until that treatment is corrected, I don't, I am protesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The national anthem is a, is a symbol of the country, and I'm protesting against that the, the flag is not, the symbol is not for everyone. It's not, yeah. free, it's not protected. It doesn't everyone. stand for me. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And um, and what happened? His career was ruined. He was no longer, like no football team since then has been willing has ever recruited has him. Ever included him again. Yeah. So that's mean that radicalism in, the, in nationalism, radicalism in religion, radicalism in national anthem, Radicalism in culture, caste, color, creed, uh, radicalism in every way possible. This is what you call it, uh, that, that what we call it, is, uh, uh, is a narrative. So, yeah. what we do is here in, in a populistic view or in a popular view, uh, we just don't compromise on leader of the choice, and then the politics has become the factor of religion in the more than the religion. Mm -hmm. uh, before that, I mean, just five, four, five years back or the ten years back, uh, the, the religion people are authoritative or more mm -hmm. autocratic side. Mm -hmm. But now the, the leaders mm -hmm. uh, become that and the, the national anthem is less popular than the, uh, the, the, the songs on the leader. Right. Uh, 
Yeah. Jab yeah. Kaptan, uh, uh, Sara Pakistan, right, all. So, right. So, so it's interesting. Um, so people are, I mean, in, yeah. still in Pakistan, I'm just taking this scenario in comparison to the yeah, other countries. Yeah, they're this comparison. Uh, in comparison with other people, countries, I mean, like, yes. they are into Kaptan. I mean, it is above the religion, it is above the... It is well, above it everything. Bhutto. I mean, like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so politics well, is about... Bhutto, the, Bhutto, uh, when they are, they, have the, they are in the age of doing something, they are still in the age where they are not thinking even something of something, or they are thinking of just some, like, 18 years a uh, 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 boy thinking of the girl and he is also political, the girl is also political and on the basis of politics they may be separated. Uh, so, <laughs> so this is how the, the, the things has been changed. Same as in America, the Trump, the Donald Trump, so, so not Trump people. So the, again there is aggressive change. Why the aggressive change? Why the identity crisis? What, in, in your uh, view, the, this divide is going widen, and everyone and the people want the Nazism again. They want the people are the responsible. Yeah. The people are responsible to make the leader uh, as uh, I mean uh, behave I mean, as a Hitler. Well, I think I mean, yeah. I mean, I think it's it's a vicious circle. You know, yeah. they reinforce each other. I mean. The, in the U.S., essentially, um, you know, I, I am not sure of the dates, but let's say about 15, 20 years ago, the Republican Party expressly brought in Christian uh, theology into the poly political party. And since then, that's been going more and more and more. So essentially, the Republican Party is extremist Christian. Um, and so a lot of the, the laws that have been coming out recently, such as the incredible, you know, strict abortion laws, for example, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> which essentially count that the moment of conception is... Yes, uh, is, I've seen in the yeah. uh, Dallas. Yes, uh, the, uh, yeah, like the, you know, the moment of conception is, is considered when, you know, the human life begins and yes. any after, you know, and blah, blah, blah. You know, these are extremist Christian theologies. Right, mm -hmm. and so are they mostly Protestants or Catholics? Uh, um, Protestants. No no, Catholics. Allow, so but have, anyway, it's okay. it's just generally. So what I'm saying is that this is this is entered into the public narrative now, so that you know, and then the 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 liberal side, the democratic side, is pushing more and more for uh, um, you know inclusivity, right, mm -hmm. um, which is very opposite to. The Christian theology, because any extreme religion is about separation. So, so yeah. this uh, Trump uh, politics has been capitalizing on this very idea. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Okay, now if you allow me to switch the. We can so, 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 so I want to. I just I want to come back to one point and then yeah, feel free please. to go on. So sure. when I said um, the thing about making art, so I think that the. I was coming on that. Point. Yeah, yeah, like the the. Cultural narrative of a country mm. is told by the people, and it's not something that's like on it. Maybe on TVs, right? Maybe eventually, maybe in books, maybe eventually. But it is told between, you know, friends, between families. You know, yeah. what do you talk about when you sit down with people? Do you talk about what's wrong, what's going on that you don't like, or do you talk about what's good or what's interesting or something that's happening that's positive, right? These are where, that's where the narrative begins. So if, you know, one person is saying, well, this is awful, and this, and then they talk about it, and that keeps, so then the overall impression stays as, this is awful, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think the reason why artists are so important to this is because people talk about things they've seen. They talk about yes. media. They talk yes. about, I went to a gallery, I saw this, I went to a a cinema, I saw this movie, I saw this, you know, and that's the so that, uh, it sparked the 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 conversation. Conversation. daily conversation. Right, right, exactly. right, but I've seen that people are, I mean, detach themselves from the, uh, I mean, art and culture, and they are much into the aggressive side. And, uh, I mean, I don't know oh, where, where they are heading to. I mean, they are discussing hardcore politics, they are dis discussing about the Southeast Asia, uh, war. They are discussing about the Afghan war. They are more interested in uh, Mullah Omar's side 
and they are detached themselves from the culture, art, literature. No, but you can never be you detached. Say? You can never be detached from it. That's it's but, not but, but, possible. But, but, but I'm what I'm saying is people. like the the who, artists, who make them detached. So I I don't I don't know about that. Basically, what, what I'm saying is that you there there's no there is no detachment completely from culture from art like. You're thinking about high art, about you know going to a gallery or a cinema or this and that and the other thing. But these people, you know, they'll still hear songs here and there. They'll, mm -hmm. they'll hear songs on the radio or they're on the, the TV. Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll lot still, of lot of uh, they'll, they'll go and see performances or dances at a wedding, right? They can never be fully detached from art and culture. Never, right? You have done a number of uh, performances, dance performances in Pakistan. Yes, I have. Num by num uh, number of how many a year, let's say? Five, six a year? Yes. Something like that. You have worked with young people here? Yes. By young people we mean 18 years old, to maybe uh, in twenties, mm -hmm. right? Some yeah, some of the people that I know are. Oh well, well but generally, yeah, generally. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. you have had some mm -hmm. good interaction with young people here. Mm -hmm. What are they like? Young people. I think the young people are very, um, they're very motivated. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of. Gen Z generally gets a really bad <laughs> Gen, rap. Gen Z yeah. it's a bad rap anywhere around the world. Anywhere, you know? anywhere right. in the world. Everyone's like Gen Z, they this, they're that. They Mill even blah, blah, blah. worse than the millennials. Yes. I mean every 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 new generation is looked upon badly by their older generation. <laughs> you know, I was like, I was having my first What are the kids doing? You know, <laughs> like who hasn't maybe, said maybe. that? <laughs> Maybe, you know, uh, well, Gen Z is like maybe 30 years behind myself, mm -hmm. uh, so maybe the way they understand and look at the world and it's going to be their world, I've stopped worrying about it because I'm, yeah. I'm not going to be there. They, they grew are, up in a different way, they grew up with the internet, way. they grew up with all these things, you know, like I think it's... Like my son is talking very about different. very different things. Yeah, very different. Uh, yes, uh, what should I do? I mean, we were talking about the Gen Z, what about the... I mean, upcoming generation, which is so just I now five, which is going to be in the virtual reality. They are no more in the reality, and they will be in the different reality, which is called the virtual reality. Yeah, but you know what? I just, I really, no. I really yes. don't think that virtual reality is going to ever be as important as we think it will be. I really don't think so. Okay, ma'am. Okay. But, but like, in the sense that, like, you know, during the pandemic, everybody was stuck by themselves for yes. a lot of it, right? Mm -hmm. Very isolated. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, we sort of realized that we need interaction. Have know? they realized? I think so. I mean, people that I've talked to. Because then isolation made them realize that yeah. we need more right. one-on-one yeah. on one Do they so, trust themselves who they are? Uh, okay, then no, 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 uh, there is just a, uh, uh, I mean, subdominant question. I mean, What's in, in your opinion, America or other countries you have been to Cambodia? Where is the most of the time? Where is the thrill goes on? Like, how many people are willing to know their self first? I mean, do they have the thrill or adventure to know their self first and then to the world? I do think that that's a country specific. I think that generally speaking, you know, it's... Is it in the human idea? Is it the country specific? It's not a country specific. What I'm saying is that the people who do know themselves first, you know, are always fewer. That, you know, those are, tend yeah, to be the artists. <laughs> they tend to be. They're not always, but they do tend to be. Yes. So what I think is the most important thing for me, generally speaking, and in any of these discussions, is that when you use the word they, right, like Gen Z, what do they think? Or the millennials, what do they think? Americans, what do they think? You know, they is a very small word for an incredibly diverse lot of people. Mm -hmm. and that's true for any country, and especially countries like the US and Pakistan, because there's so many people here. So it's a dangerous thing to generalize that, like that. I think so. So, like, I'll give you an example. There's, um, you know, a, there's uh, one of the biggest buzzwords in humanitarian work 
Mm -hmm. is localization. Localization. Right? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Because somebody realized that handouts, you know, poor people, aren't they so poor, let's just give them money and all their problems will be fixed. Yeah. They sort of realized that this is not exactly a, a, a great way to carry on business and so localization is this sort of, it's, it's a pushback against this, you know, we'll civilize the savages sort of narrative, right? Mm -hmm. But one of the things that I've noticed when we talk about localization is they say, well, we'll work with more local people. We'll work with more local partners. We'll mm -hmm. work with more of this local this. And I said, but who decides what is local? Right? Yeah, there you go. Local, does that mean who are you talking to? Are you talking to city people? Like if you're talking about Pakistan, for example. Yes. I live in the rural. You know, like difference. local people. Who are you talking to? Lahoris? Islamabadis? Yes. Karachiites? Are you talking to the villages? And in those villages, are you talking to the people who are in charge? Are you talking to the to the to the worker? Are you talking to the street sweeper? Who are you talking to? Are you talking to the women's groups, the disabled groups? You know, like you can mm -hmm. work with you can work with local whatever you like and still be perpetuating the same power mm -hmm. dynamics. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so anytime you talk about they, my questions are who is they? You know, and so this, what is the definition of how do you determine? How do you decide who is they? You know, millennials is really a huge hard to generation. Yes. Yeah. So like I can talk we can talk about, you know, Pakistanis all day, but which Pakistanis and what are their circumstances? Are mm -hmm. they you know, where where are they from? Where did they where are they living? What are they doing? What was their education? What is their home life? So are you there? talking about influential people? Yeah. <laughs> because that would be okay, so, the, 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 so I'm just saying is as a side. Okay, one, is, one, yeah. one is a very good definition. I mean you have elaborated so well. I mean this is a very important question to discuss on the local. Who is local? I mean how do you I mean, decide? We, it? we we are just hmm. leaving this question to the people. Yeah. Who is local? Keep this I question mean, in mind. Very important. Yes. Because, because Karachi, uh, yes. Karachi wale log, I mean, like, because she understands Urdu very well. So, Karachi uh, wale log, log so ke, uh, <laughs> Yes, uh, Shuru mein mein yaad nira. So, Karachi wale ye samajhte hain ki wo baut zyada tez hain. They know better than, I mean, again, your novel is coming at my, uh, on my head. So, they are wizards, uh, right? right? And the league, right? They are managing the league. Mm -hmm. Then the Naharis, they are they, they think that they are so smart, mm -hmm. or sometimes and the Karachi thinks that they are goof. So uh, the Sial quote another. The definition of local is still missing, right? What do you think? I mean, uh, I mean, if you give one sentence yeah. or in your opinion, what is local, uh, uh, specific to Pakistan? Can you uh, still find anything local? But I think in, uh, what is local in Pakistan? Okay, big, big boss mean, uh, still we are searching for it. Now, <laughs> the second person, you have met but so I mean, many like people, and you have met celebrities, you have met uh, the artists, and you have met so many other leagues, middle to upper, to every class. Yes, I How many Pakistanis? Think that they are the proud Pakistanis. Those who believe in no, 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 themselves. Give me, give me an honest answer. Mm. Do you really think? I mean, when you drill them, or not to drill them, just a real, a pers I mean, was first perception. Do they proud? I mean, they don't. Don't you think that whenever they meet, they think that uh, they spend much of the time in America. They much. They spend much of the. I mean. They are the, uh, they are the American national, they, are, they got the sit, uh, uh, American citizen. They are not proud to be uh, having oh, the well, identity well, of the, well, the local are. identity, the, the, the native identity. So, how many Pakistanis you have seen, mostly in elite, or the other people, they are the proud Pakistanis, or in the overseas? An honest answer, please. I'm because I, this is my thesis, by the way, these days. <laughs> I am very much concerned about because nobody wanted to live in Pakistan. One, they wanted to have a finance based or the, I mean, cultural based, their relation based 
in America. They want to uh, roam around the, uh, the whole of the Europe, and they wanted to die in Marina, and the religious city. Yeah, well, that's the general and, route here. Uh, <laughs> uh, by sitting in America, and this is just, oh God, I love Pakistan, and my heart is beating for Pakistan. This is just very, is, is, is that comedy? Or, I mean, this is why. Uh, it's, it is not comedy. That's why I'm asking you to read a simple question. How many proud bucks? Do you really think they're proud? Yeah, I think they're concerned more. No, no, I'm uh, very specific in general, of course. Uh, consider it minus 10%, 90% of the bucks. 5%. Okay. I, I, no, the reason, I actually, I don't, I don't know how to answer this question because, like, I see, I think, generally speaking, like I talked about this earlier, the elite class is the most likely to be critical. They're the most likely to subscribe to this very colonial narrative. Why is that? Why is that? This is the question. Why is that? I got my answer. Yeah, oh, no. you got it. Well, I understand. <laughs> I, I want part of the answer. Elite particularly elite class, they're the ones that are most likely to have this very, you know, colonial attitude about Pakistan and the West, generally speaking. Yes. Why is that? But I, uh, why is that? I mean, it's the, same, the same question we were talking about earlier, where does this yeah. narrative come from? Yes. Okay. You know, I, mean, I think that, you know, I do think the American propaganda machine is very strong, I think that there's there's a lot of, you know... So we are the victim of the, uh, this propaganda? Well, I'm not saying that anybody is a victim or that, you know... Uh, I'm not we, saying anybody is a It's your choice. We are the subscriber of this narrative, right? Me? No. Not me. Of course. You know, it's funny because, like, I'll be in a taxi, for example, in Islamabad, and the taxi driver will ask me, why are you? Everybody here wants to go there. Why would you want to come here? Isn't it better for you there? How is it better? Yeah, it's very important. What, yes. is, what, what is better? This is the yes. this is the only so? question. When <laughs> most of the, most of the uh, media personnel, uh, media people ask me, and uh, they ask me about to talk about the right of overseas. When I say overseas, that means you when you don't like to live in your own country, then this means that, of course, you are not that much. You want to have the adventure, you want to have the more exploration or something like this. Mm. But this is the different idea. I mean, in Pakistan, everybody wanted to have, for example, if somebody asked, uh, I mean, suddenly, how many people wanted to go to America? So, but, but you have to decide why you want to go to the reasons or the reason for why going. Why you come from Scotland? <laughs> well, well uh, look, uh, the reason for going somewhere and reason for coming back, there are, you know, the, the reasons can be different. Like you, I decide to go and live in another country because I want a bigger house, a better car, more income. That's a different. But let's say I want to go and live in uh, America or any other part of the world because, uh, because I want to see the world from another place. So that's an entirely different reason, you yeah, see? Yeah. Choose two options. Uh, my next question would be on should be on politics or economics. And there's a little, just for the so, for about one minute. So politics or economics? We can do it. Like economics. That. Two economics. is economics, one is politics. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why the Pakistani thinks that their economics is not being better if they are living here and do the entrepreneurial activities here? Do you, don't you find that there is so many potential, there is so much economic potential that, uh, here in Pakistan? There is a certain amount of potential here, yes. So why, okay, can you please uh, tell them, tell all of our Pakistanis, why they want to, desperately want to go to American or, or want to marry an American girl? Or... Uh, I'm settled down, they get to know. It's they just this idea that... National, oh, and they, they will never happy and... My next is after the uh, economics, uh, relevant to economics, does the materialism, the money does matter or the happiness does matter? To me? Oh, 
generally. <laughs> if you have to advise someone, if you have to like advise you. a young person, let's say. Being uh, genuine uh, and being, uh, I mean, in generic, I mean, being anal uh, analyti analytical or then yourself. I mean, the thing is, is like, There's, there's just tricky. There, there were like several questions that you asked as well. Let me try to figure. Um, it's just my, I, all of the thoughts in my brain just crashed, so I have to sort them out. <laughs> you know, I think that you know, I, on the surface, every, you know, people say everybody wants to go to America, um, and that. There's this, that's the impression, they, they believe it, it's the narrative they tell, and they, you know, they think that's true. And yet, you know, at the end of the day, it's probably not what they actually want, right? You know, mm -hmm. um, and if given the opportunity, you know, from the people that, uh, you know, that I know, you know, if you said, you know, okay, you can, you know, go, but, you know, you leave your family behind, or, you know, you have to do this kind of work, at the end of the day, Probably not. It's just like the idea of it is like, I'll go and life will be easy, you know, that there, there, there won't be trash anywhere and there won't be, you know, there will never be power cuts and, and yeah. you know, like that there's this sense of just luxury. Power cuts is one big reason for leaving your... I think so. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Oh. You know, but there's this impression that you go... To America, for example, and life is easy. Easy. And it's beautiful. And yes. it's, uh, that's the impression that that's I get. That's the impression okay, that that's I get. You know. Um, you know. I mean, have you ever seen New York streets? Oh God! Oh God! Yeah. Yeah. Bad, bad, bad. Yeah, there, have, there is yeah. trash must, everywhere. Yeah. I yeah. always yeah. had the bad idea. I mean, you know, walking on the so New York the streets. So that's the thing is that you've been there, right? But this I idea is that you know, like, oh, it's so you know, and and like, oh, it's so much better there. Making money is so easy, and and yet, it's not. What's the you best know? part of living in New York? I'm mostly asking. What's the best part of living in New York? What is the best in the New York rather than the big rats? Yeah, well, the big rats. No comment. I'll make it this. No, no, that was okay. Make this. I'm going to set you from nose to tail. From nose to tail. Okay, come on. Come back. Come back. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. I have got. So, what there is a second question. So that was the first question. Why is everybody want this? I think that there. So I think that this this impression that you know you go to either Europe or America and life will be easy. Okay. You make money easily, your life will be luxurious, it'll be very comfortable, mm -hmm. right? It's, mm -hmm. I think there's this idea that Pakistan is not comfortable, and therefore, you go outside and you are comfortable. And that's kind yes. of one of the yes. main... So that's the general... That's the that's a general thinking. impression, yes. right? Um, and so that's that's why I think, when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, that's, that's what this impression yes. is. Well, on my yes. side, most of the people wanted to go to wanted to go to America and they want to live in America, they want to get the green pass. Green pass or green card. Green yes. I've oh. never been to the man to America. <laughs> this, this, this is one side. Second side is that those who are who wanted to live there, they they follow America in their uh, and they live the life of America here in Pakistan. But on the other side when they use other things or they are into the politics, they use uh, anti Americans. Yeah, this is. Uh, I, so I think when you get down to uh, uh, like desperately, desperately yeah, that love for America, then anti Americanism, but and the colonial narrative. Can you please? I mean, oh, that is no, but too I, complex. No, I, I, I think, want people to ask the No, but the thing is, okay, so yes. I think that the, the question is assuming that people are rational and they only want one thing. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is that, 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 that was my next question. That was that. Was, thank you for reminding me. I've forgotten it. So, people are not rational, and they don't want just one thing all the time, right? Mm, yes. You can want one thing and then want something completely different, and both at the same time, right? That's you know your brain doesn't work in like logical, practical, you know, colonial this, America, good, bad, whatever. It depends on that particular context, 
what the person in front of you is saying, what you heard on the news yesterday, something you saw, you know, like, then is what it, you think that day can be different than what you thought a week ago. Yes. Right? Is, is it bad education that your mind keeps oscillating? No, I, I think to, that's just the way it's That's just the way you're That's just the way you're Your mind goes to the different track because Jamin has so many things to say. <laughs> uh, my, my next question, I mean, no, 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 I can have, we can uh, answer the first okay, question? Please can I connect the colonial narrative, uh, then what, what was the second, and then third? American And then American Yes. The desperately need to, I mean, desperate love for America, then anti-Americanism, used by the, the, the war. So what are people? And then the, the league. The league. And, <laughs> so I'm focusing on a no novel, maybe I'll be the publisher. Yes, no, no, no. <laughs> And then is the colonial narrative, right? Oh. After this, um, I already you have explained well, and the identity crisis, humanism, then we talk about the economics, of course, coming from the Marxism, then it's the humanism, then it's the capitalism, then it's the ruthless capitalism, then it's the industrialism, then it's the materialistic, materialism, materialistic attitude, and then it's a the minimalism. Maybe no, five no, years no, back, no. five years back, I, 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 I was so much into so many suits and all. But today, now, I just want to live in one suit. I just don't want to travel with a lot many things. Mm -hmm. I don't want so much materialism. Mm -hmm. Is this evolution, or uh, is there any d debate in the materialism or minimalism, or materialism to the happiness? And minimalism to the happiness. So, okay. There you go. <laughs> sorry, keep sorry. In mind, so keep in mind, I'm an artist. Right. Sorry, Wait, I'm... Let, uh, me, let me explain this. I'm an oh, artist. Okay. Right. Which means that the answer to the question is obviously that <laughs> the happiness is more important. Right? Because... No artist, unless they're you know they very very person. lucky, very yeah. very 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 lucky, you know, mostly artists, especially in the performing arts, especially, you know, are not rich, and they don't do. Does that matter? To be rich. Does, does that matter to any artist? I'm sure it does to some, because no, but, no, what, what yeah, generalizations being what they are. I'm sure it does to some. But what I mean no. is that okay, so material. The thing is, is that we live in a world, mm -hmm. right, and. Okay, materialism to happiness. No, no, no. Minimal, the thing minimalism is, like, you happiness. need there is a certain minimal amount of, of of money that you need of playing the game. You know, like if you're going to be in a meeting or something, you have to have a certain. You know, you have to play the game sometimes, mm. right? Mm. Um, because mm. if you don't play the game, then you don't get to participate. Yes. Yeah. In society. Yes. yes. And and the thing is, is like you can. Spend your days how this is of course, awful. Just, this just is to board the gallery, of course, you have to have. But that's mind. the thing, you have to play the game sometimes, <laughs> yeah, right? Yes. Mm. You know, because one person is not going to But you do it with a very diff uh, different heart. Right, mm. but that's the, the, so that's the thing is that there is a certain minimal level of, you know, you have to have a house. Yeah. Right? Uh, you have to eat. Yes. You know, and in order to you do those clothes. things, you know, in order to do these things, you yes, have to. Yes, it has to Of course, you know, like obviously, and you have to play the games of society, otherwise you can't participate. That's just the way it works. The end. Yeah. But I like this word of participation, uh, participating in society. Yeah, the, the, this is society. More, more, you know, you can find it. Right? You can find it. You know, but that's the thing is that you clarity to the whole thing. You play yes. the game. You follow the rules. This is a minimal level. This yes. is a minimal level. Right. And then, but the thing, like money, is required for certain basic life right after that you know for me it's more about you know creating things that i think are worthwhile or you know doing things that i think are worthwhile or how you know any artist anywhere will tell you professional artists that you have a balance between your commercial work which pays and your artistic work which doesn't Mm. Right, and that, you that, do that, the that, commercial right. work yes. so that you can put all of the money you get from that and into that's your that's artistic commercial artists. Right? Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly. That's why the commercial and artists are more rich, uh, or the rich, more rich, not the that's not the right. Uh, I mean, a word. Commercial artists, artists commercial can artists be rich. rich. They can yeah. be. Rich. And what about those who are making the Rumi, the world link, Rumi, Darwish, and all? 
and the different art piece which has not been required, the abstract art which has not been required or, or been uh, appreciated by well, the I, I would like to, I would like to answer part of this question. Yes. Because, because he's uh, also an artist. Uh, also an artist. Yeah. Because, uh, I'm an artist too. Uh, uh, no, because because art. Look, people want money socially beyond your needs to impress others, generally speaking, mm -hmm. or to have a certain amount of influence on other yes. people mm -hmm. in the society. Mm -hmm. But when you are truly into some artistic activity, you want to connect yourself with the sublime, mm. in a way, mm. right? Yeah. So that connection with the sublime brings a lot of compensation to what you are losing on the maybe. Right. So I think you know, that what you're saying is that end. exactly. So that I think that when you when you are not satisfied with what you do on a daily basis, or mm. with the things that you create on a daily yeah, basis, yeah. then other people's opinions is very important, you know, and and it's it's necessary for you to to impress them, right? Because you yourself have not, you know, you've not fulfilled whatever soul question that's inside of you, right? Yes, I have much uh, quite number. Of, I mean, not much. Uh, number of artists, but I am a few of the artists. This is artist has nothing to do with the nothing to do with the people. I mean nothing to do with, I mean they are not into impressing the people. Is that right? So yeah, I mean the thing is is as an artist you want people to see your work. Right. Appreciation. You know, course. you want you want to share your work with other people, but it's it, there, so it's related to that, but it's in the sense of you know I need to have you know a fancy fancy phone or a branded shirt you know like that's not where I'm at. What I if 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 you can look at my artwork and appreciate it, yeah. you know, then who cares? Yes. Right. Then I have received whatever validation I wanted. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think that that it comes from that you know every person wants to be validated. You know, they want to feel validated and seen and secure. Okay, I think you're you, you, you going to ask me that, I mean, it is going so long. So, uh, before you saying this, I mean, I have a very little question and I'm going to, and not, not end of the times, but what is gross domestic happiness? How one nation can achieve gross domestic happiness? Well, you know, I'm, being an economist, I'm not asking about the uh, GDP. Gross domestic problem. Yeah, well, so I'm talking about the gross domestic happy happiness. How can we be gen generally? <laughs> Invest in arts. In arts. In arts. In arts. In arts. We were having a conversation about uh, the young people when we were driving. Uh, looking to because you know I asked her this question. And she said the people are in a hurry to get things done. Yes. You know, yeah, young people yeah, want yes. to yeah, yeah. achieve. Uh, am I close oh, to what the young people are saying? No. Yeah. Well, I want to uh, uh, bring that conversation back uh, here. Mm. Would you like to say. I think. Like, uh, this gross to myself. Yes, happiness. exactly. Yes. The, the, uh, yes. the, this question uh, reminded me of yes. that thing. So, yes. So, please. both things are connected, if you'd like to. Why well, there's so much in hurry? Uh, what is gross to myself? What's the anxiety here? I think. Yeah. I mean, have, have you seen what the world looks like today? You know, like, I mean... Five years minus two of the pandemic. You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> the, you know, there's so much in <laughs> like, world. you know, right-wing politics are all over. Nazis are back. You know, climate change is on the rise. The world is going to end in Nazis are back. You know, <laughs> the world is going to end in Nazis and Nazis. and Nazis. You know, the Dr. world... Dr. Hasnan has been educating me on economics and politics for the last uh, several let, months. Let, let it come Otherwise, I had stopped reading uh, the newspaper, all the important You know what TVs. I'm saying? Yeah. Is, you know, these, these, these kids, you know, like, okay, we can blame them for some things, but we also, you know, these kids are growing up and they're hearing that, you know, they're seeing all these things that are happening. They're hearing that, you know, in 20 years from now, the world is going to be unlivable and, 
you yes. know, these natural disasters are coming and there's nothing that we can do about it. You know, what kind of existential anxiety oh, does this... Oh, that's the existential you know, anxiety. You know, does that give you? Anxiety like, gives oh. me another So we all start thinking yeah. like French people now. Yeah. Existential. <laughs> there's <laughs> nothing to be done, you know. Yeah. One is that they have, they are so much in hurry. They want to get rich as early as possible, yes, as yes. soon. I mean, with the shortcut, neither with the shortcut, Either they wanted to have more shortcuts. One. The second question is why they are not satisfied. And the society. I mean, you can't be satisfied in the world that there is and the, the world that they're growing up into. I feel you? very selfish when I think about 20 years because probably I'm not going to be there to see you all that. Yeah, no, but that's yeah. the thing. Like, you know, like, the, I think there's so yeah. much anxiety that they're carrying about. You know, and and I don't know. Maybe maybe this is where the shortcut things come from. Is that you know, there's well, no time. What do you want to achieve? I mean, you know, so there's easy. no time. Like you're running out of time. You better get there now. So it's kind of race against time, and yeah. everybody has this feeling yeah. of the time running away. Mm. And they want to catch Since you came here, you you never asked for the time because you you came here for something. And you're very easy, yeah. you're very satisfied, you, you didn't ask anything. A meaningful anything. conversation. <laughs> I have seen so many yes. Pakistanis, they have nothing to do and they have done nothing. But still they are running out of time and they say, hurry, now we have to go there, 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 there. there. Why not? That's not they a are Pakistani. Are That's not a Pakistani. I mean, in a hurry to do nothing. That's not a Pakistani. That's what we used to say. Like, I, I think there's, I think that there's just an overall sense. It's overall. That yeah, I, I think that there's a sense that, that they want to go. They, they want to I mean, it's true that I think that overall, I have noticed in Pakistan that there is a sense of, of you know, skip to the end, basically. You know, get there as fast as you can. But I think that's because you can. You can. Right. You know. You can or you can. You can. Yeah. You know, like as long as you can. One is why not? Why not? Do you know, yeah. like if, if you can, if, if, for example, like uh, talking about maybe dancers. You know, right now, right now, you know, somebody who has a bit of talent, um, you know, and can move well, they will be getting the jobs and the music videos and the performances. They can. They can. Right. So why but not? when those, you know, when the young people are seeing that and they're like, well, I want to do that too, right? At a certain point. That's not going to be good enough, and they'll be they'll have to you know spend more time training to get better, to do more, to do something new. Yeah. So as long as you can. So have you seen that kind of not? level of commitment <laughs> among the young people? That. But they are into Hali. They are into Hali, and uh, I'm agreed to uh, Jim that it's a it's a worse problem. I don't know. So okay. Now the question is. One, starting from the gross domestic happiness, it is the subject. I mean, everybody wants to achieve the gross domestic product. Nobody is willing to have the gross domestic happiness. Uh, they don't want to be a happy community. They don't want to be into arts. They don't want to be into something they, like... Or if they are into arts, they want to sell this product. A uh, mind drawing. I mean, uh, even th th this does matter or not. This does is pricey or not. But they want to sell it just. I mean, they just don't care that what the art is. Okay, one from the uh, gross domestic happiness. Second is happiness. And then achievement and happiness, uh, the relevance of happiness and achievement. If they achieve high, high mean uh, money, power, cars, uh, Bugattis, and uh, what you say, AK 47 and all. Right. Mm -hmm. So, Second is, if they don't get that, they become the philosophers. They get into readings, they read so much, they, they dive into so much into readings, and then they find nothing, and they, uh, they, they uh, finalize with the word nihilism. There is nothing. When they don't... They're talking anything, about losers. Then what is nihilism, and what is the relationship... I mean... Now, the precise thing question, what the first question, what is conquest of happiness for you? Mm -hmm. That's in a matter of 
So I If you answer in Urdu. Well I can't oh, yes. I can't explain right. myself to Like okay. So, okay, try. Like Okay. Like, no, no, just what I, like uh, so what, because I'm trying what I wanna say is a little philosophical. Okay, look at it. Um, I think that happiness is a feeling, not a state. It's a feeling, it's not a state. Not a state. So okay. there is no point ever where you achieve happiness. Happiness is, is a feeling you get every now and then. Okay. Right? You know, like sadness is a feeling you get every now and then. Or anger is He's a feeling. He's too sad these days. <laughs> so far. No, I'm happy these days. I no, I'm happy. Sorry, sorry. So no, many no. people left you, so... so. <laughs> No, but what I'm saying is that, like, ha you can, there's never a state that you get to where you're happy all the time. Mm. Okay. Right? That, so, that happiness is feeling, right? It's a feeling. It's a moment. It comes and it goes, you know? Like, it's not a, it's not a state. You don't get to a place and you're just like, now I'm happy and all my problems are gone. No, so there Why are some the problems you know. No, 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 no. I, I just wanted to ask. <laughs> Why not the happiness is a state? How can we achieve the... I mean, just from your idea, can we make it a state? Can we no, be in the state of happiness ever? No, what is happiness then? No, but like you can be happy. How we are happy? Huh? I mean, I'm sad and how we are happy. Uh, Have a good cup of coffee. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay so, that's, uh, that's, a, that's a distraction. <laughs> no, no, it's not a distraction. <laughs> like, how okay, more philosophically, <laughs> philosophically, what is happiness? I mean, it's, it's not happiness. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm not a sad guru. I'm not a sad guru. I'm not saying. I'm not a sad guru. I'm not saying you that it's on, and then you have you have the happiness. I'm not a religious person, I'm saying that Ya Ayatuhan So you'll get the happiness, you make your inner self calm and be uh, stay far stay far from the materialistic world. Mm. Is that happiness? I to stay far I mean, away from the materialistic world. I think happiness is no. a choice. Happiness is choice. And how do you think? You choose. You choose. You choose. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I think uh, that's not nihilism. Nihilism is a lack of hope. <laughs> lack of hope. Opposite to hope. Okay. Thank you very much, um, Dr. Asman, Julian Yards. And uh, thank you very much for watching us. Good night. <laughs>